Hey guys, welcome to your general reading for Cancer. This is going to be for your September 2024. You can apply this to any of your placements because we're going to take a look and see what messages Spirit has for you guys. So um, apply this to your own unique situations. You can apply this to any of your placements because anything could come up. Keep in mind that these are general messages. Take what resonates and leave the rest behind. If this message didn't resonate with you, you may take a look at your other placements. Keep in mind that these are collective messages for the collective cancer people, not tapping into one specific person's energies in particular. If you're looking for a reading that's tailored specifically to your unique situations and your energies, I suggest you to book a personal reading with me. The link for that is in the description box below. Like, share, comment, subscribe. Hit the notification bell so that you guys get notified on when my new videos post, when I go live. Also, if you guys are interested in following me on TikTok, Instagram, my other YouTube channel that's dedicated solely to my travels, the links for those are in the description box below. Support me on there too. So, Cancer, what messages do we have here for Cancer from Spirit? Messages from Spirit to Cancer here for September 2024. And like I said, this could be in any of your placements, you guys, because anything could come up. So we have patience here. I feel like right now it requires patience. Whatever you're going through requires patience here. Some of you guys are embarking or about to go through a huge spiritual awakening, a huge wake up call here. So I feel like, <coughs> excuse me. Some of you guys are having some sort of major breakthrough here. And I feel like it's bringing balance into your life here. Okay. So we have awaken, we have patience, and also balance here. Okay, so I feel like, you know, perhaps you guys have been going through a very heavy period of tough time, a tough time here. You know, when we go through spiritual awakenings, you know, our, our bodies go through a huge shift, you know, a, a, a process where we're kind of like, you know, rewiring our DNA at this time here. Okay, so I do believe that you guys are definitely going through something like that. You know, you're feeling very heavy at this time. Okay, and I feel like you guys are definitely walking on a path of truth here, okay? And also integrity, all right? So I feel like you guys are on the right path here. Things are falling into place for you guys. Things, everything is happening at the right time for you all. All right, what else do we have here for Cancer? What else does Cancer need to know? Look out for a work on what other messages do we have here for Cancer from their, <coughs> from their uh, spirit guide, from, their, from spirit here. What else do we have for Cancer? What else does Cancer need to know? look out for and work on. We have the Eight of Pentacles here and also the Page of Wands here. I feel like your hard work is really paying off at this time here. You know, I do feel like some of you guys are working on basically healing your wounded inner child here. And I feel like some of you guys are finding a lot of patience at this time. Some of you guys could be working on your anger. You know, another thing I'm getting here is I feel like projects that you have been working on, I feel like also that requires patience here too, because I feel like you guys are definitely starting out on the bottom of the totem pole here when it comes to your work. So that also requires patience as you build yourself up, as you gain experience here, you can move up. Uh, you can level up here basically. What else do we have for Cancer? We have the Four of Pentacles here and the Nine of Wands. Yeah, one of the things I'm, I'm getting here is that, you know, with the Four of Pentacles here and the Nine of Wands, also the Ten of Wands here, you guys, you guys have been holding on to a lot of burdens, a lot of pain, a lot of trauma, um, a lot of emotional baggage here, you know, physical pain here I'm getting. And, you know, I feel like you're releasing that. You're letting that go. Okay, you've been holding on to that for a very long time. And one of the things that you know, people have to understand and know that the more that you hold on to something that's no longer serving a purpose in your life, you're basically hindering your own growth and your evolution and basically you're blocking yourself from the blessings that are meant to come into your life. So I feel like you're unblocking that. Okay, some of you guys could be, you know, in this energy of balancing out your chakras here too. We have the Sun of Wands here and the Star card. Some of you guys are having this major aha moment, okay? You know, I feel like you guys fought hard to get to this point where you guys are feeling optimistic and just feeling just hopeful. Things are getting better here because I feel like there was a lack of hope here. Yeah, there was a lack of hope here because I feel like someone here was really, really, really just struggling personally. And I feel like you guys are definitely coming out on the other end, on the other side of this. What else do we have here for cancer? Talk about the Eight of Pentacles here. Why is the Eight of Pentacles here for Cancer? We have the Three of Wands. 
One thing I'm getting here, you know, I do feel like some of you guys could be wondering, is it the right thing for you to travel for work or to work abroad or something like that? Or take a position where you might be getting promoted here where you guys, it requires you guys to travel a lot. I would say do it. Yeah, I feel like your guys, your angels and your ancestors are saying, yes, yeah. so we have the page of wands here and also the three of swords here. Okay. You know, one of the things I'm getting here is I feel like one of the things that your spirit guides are saying that be patient when it comes to your healing here. You are getting somewhere. Like there is progress. Even though you don't feel like there is progress, there is progress that's happening here for you guys. I feel like that that's what spirit wants to say to you. We have the four of pentacles here with the four of pentacles and we have the six of wands. Tell me the seven, uh, nine of wands. Why is the nine of wands here? And also the queen of cups. There you are right here. One of the things I'm getting here is I feel like it's important for you to focus at the light at the end of the tunnel here because I do feel like you guys will reach your victory and success here when it comes to your own personal growth and your spiritual growth here. I really feel like positive things are happening for you guys. Positive changes are happening for you guys. Tell me the seven of wands here. Why is the seven of wands here? Why is the seven of wands here? Tell me the seven of wands. Why is the seven of wands here? Seven of wands and the devil. Wow. The star. And the King of Swords here, wow. You know, I feel like this, one of the things I'm getting here is I feel like this led you, what led you on this path was dealing with someone in a romantic relationship here, here that was really toxic towards you. As soon as you cut this person out, I feel like the energies around you started to get better here. Now, I feel like you guys started to disconnect yourself from this individual. I feel like you guys started to cut cords so that you could fully cut, you know, move on from this without any sort of attachments from this individual here. However this is, I feel like basically you've cut this person out. You've cut cords with this individual and I feel like you are leveling up. You're going through some sort of spiritual ascension here, okay? You're going perhaps through some sort of dark night of the soul and I feel like your guys are coming out of this. Tell me about patience here. What do we What do we need to know about patience here for cancer? Tell me about patience. Patience. With the ace of wands here, wow. Patience is bringing, you, bringing in new beginnings here. For you. You know, I feel like you guys are definitely finding inspiration. I feel like you guys are definitely finding passion again. Perhaps, you know, a part of that was stuff by dealing with this King of Swords here. I do feel like this is someone here that was really, really mentally abusive here towards you, perhaps even verbally here. And I feel like this person didn't really, you know, value your feelings or value you. But, you know, I do feel like there's a sense of blocking this energy out, protecting yourself from this energy, or Anyone that comes to you in this type of energies, you're blocking it out and you're keeping your peace here. All right. What else do we have here for cancer? Tell me about Awaken. Wow. You know, I feel like the spiritual awakening is going to change everything here for you. You know, like I said, I feel like you guys could be going through like a very tough time. Like your body is also going through physical changes where I feel like your body is completely rewiring your DNA here too where I feel like you guys are definitely stepping into this new version of yourself at this time. This transformation here, this spiritual ascension, this awakening here is very, very, very powerful for you guys. You know, I feel like, you know, if you have been in this repetitive pattern of connecting with these types of individuals, it has a connection with the unhealed trauma that you have dealt with and that you haven't released. Once you release that, once you deal with that trauma, it will be over here. All right, tell me the balance card. Why is balance here? Tell about balance and the Empress. Wow, Cancer. You guys are going through a spiritual ascension where you guys are glowing up and leveling up here. Everything is changing for you guys. You guys are stepping into this Empress energy here where you're master manifesting where you're attracting good things here. Basically, you've been through a lot in life and you feel like you have a lot of knowledge and wisdom to share here, okay? And I feel like you guys are ready to bring in real true love into your life here as you sort of move through, through life. You know, bring in things that are true to you, who you are as a person here. And I feel like you're in this energy of attracting that. We have the sun card on the bottom of the deck. So a lot of you guys are finding happiness, fulfillment, and joy at this time after a really tough period that you guys been through here. So, you know, this could also be an indication that you guys are finally, finally finding closure regarding a painful situation that you went through here, Cancer. So Cancer, I hope that this was helpful. I hope that this resonated. If it did, leave a comment down in the comment section below. 
like this video, share this video, subscribe, hit the notification bell. I'll speak to you guys in the next one. Thanks guys. Bye.